Welcome to another episode of the Acoustic Lounge. My name is Chris Cook and it's the holiday season of 2010. I want to take a minute to just reflect on, well, this last year. I've had the amazing privilege of visiting with some wonderful artists and listening to some great songs. And for that, I am very, very thankful. 2011, I've got some amazing artists booked, so stick around for that because it's going to be just as cool. In the meantime, today we're going to go visit with a blues legend. His name is Finest Tasby. And uh, we're going to sit and hang out with him and talk about his days with Freddie King and John Lee Hooker and listen to some other cool stories and hear some blues. So stick around for that. And uh, here's Finest Hasby. Where do you want to start us out, Finest? Well, it doesn't matter. From the beginning, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Don't... Now, when you say the beginning, you're originally from Dallas, Texas. Is that right? right? Okay. And... Uh, Talk a little bit about uh, some of your first bands. I know you started as a drummer and then moved on to the bass guitar. So, talk a little bit about that journey. Well, I don't know. It was like a friend of mine in Dallas there I wanted to put together a band. And uh, his brother went out and bought the drums and he was going to play the drums. And I was sitting there watching him play this and that, you know. And I said to myself, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of him, his brother, playing the drums, I ended up playing the drum with him. We called us after Blues Blasters at the time. And we played Dallas a lot of it. So in, uh, on up to 61, is, we was in Norman, Oklahoma, after I had formed a band, the Thunderbirds. And, uh, the guy didn't tell us who that we was going up there to play with. So we get there, we unload, and set up and stuff, and I see this big old white car pull up, you know, and this red big old guy, about 350 pounds, gets out of the car with this little guitar, you know. <laughs> Come to find out it was Freddie King, you know. Wow. First time I ever seen him in person. And stuff. So we played a gig with him, and. Shortly after that, he moved back from Chicago to Dallas, and we hooked up and started playing around in different places. And went from there on up till he finally got into the big times. You know. It was a lot of fun. Now, were you playing drums with Freddie King at first? or No, I had kind of switched over to bass. Mississippi blues, or Delta blues, or Chicago blues. What, what would you say is the, is the difference between the different styles of blues? Because you've really lived it, so... <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to describe it, you know, like... Uh, you know, I would say Texas and uh, Mississippi Delta Blues is pretty much together. You know, and then uh, you go to Chicago Blues, was more up-tempo and type of stuff like that, more up-tempo blues. When Texas was still hanging around like T1 Walker and uh, Jimmy Witherspoon, all those people, you know, and were considered as Texas blues, you know, with uh, a lot of cats that came from Texas, you know. And so, like I said, it just isn't much difference in it. Okay. It's just, I think, the feeling of it. 
you were really close with John Lee Hooker, right? Yeah, John Lee, uh, man, I met him, I think it was 71, uh, in Oakland. And uh, from there, we just kept running across each other's path. And uh, so I ended up plant based for a little while with him. John Lee was one of the best person I ever known. I mean, he took me in and treated me like his own son. You, know? you just got back from a tour of Switzerland, right? Yeah, I went over on, uh, I think it was the 22nd, and got back on the 30th over there, getting out of the snow and the stuff made it. But we did like, uh, I think it was like five gigs in four days. Wow. Uh, one day we did two. It, it was unusual because it was more of a educational thing for kids, mostly from, you know. Uh, it was, wasn't a whole band, it was like uh, guitar, drums, uh, harmonica, and me. You know, we just giving them a feeling of the blues. And, and I think it went over pretty good. I'd like to uh, uh, introduce Finus' son, Dallas. He's here with us today. Yeah, I'm working with him. He's working with me. He's trying to play a little music. He's trying to get me into the music business. Okay, and you play a little bit of guitar and some piano, right? right. Cool. Yeah. That's good, man. Well, you definitely got the genes for it, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, man, Dallas, thanks for hanging out with us today, man. You're right. That kind of group? Okay. This was uh, was in Sydney, Australia, when when uh, the words came to me. We stopped on the side of the road, take a break, and uh, the sun was sitting down on the sea. So the first thing I said when I got out of the car, look at the sun sitting down on the sea. So. I said, man, that sounds good. You want to put it in a song. So I tried it, and there it is. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'll do my best to keep up with you. All, All right. right. <laughs> so about where I had it before. Right. Okay. It went like this. Well, now, I'm sitting over here Watching the sun sit down on the sea Watching the sun sit down on the sea. Well, I can't help but wonder if anyone on the other side cares about me. Because I'm a long way from home, trying to get back there on my own. I am a long, long way from home Trying to get back there on my own If I'm not home by Monday morning I'll be there Wednesday afternoon Then I thought about it, I said Well now Sitting over here, watching the moon sit down on the sea. Uh -huh. I'm sitting over here, watching the moon sit down on the sea. Lord, I can't help but wonder. If anyone over there cares about me And the last one is uh, Goodbye Sydney Melbourne and I am on my way If I find me a woman over there, be 
people, I'm going back to stay. That's what they asked me to do. Is uh, why don't you move over here? I said that's a long way from home. <laughs> I lived in Australia. I know. <laughs> That was great, man. <laughs> what an honor to play with you. That no. was really cool. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Thank you so much for doing the Acoustic Lounge, man. All right. I really appreciate it. Anytime.